is my pleasure to be invited to this summit, and I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciations to the thoughtful uh, arrangement of the organizers, and also I want to share something about uh, you know China's uh, in infrastructure and the new energy development of China. Uh, as we know, infrastructure is the foundation and support to the social and economic development. And there is a Chinese saying goes like that, better roads lead to better life. In recent years, highways and high-speed railways have been developed very fast in China. By the end of last year, the total highway mileage uh, in China exceeds to 130,000 kilometers, ranking the first in the world. And the total uh, operational mileage of the high-speed railway uh, reached 22,000 kilometers, accounting for more than 60% of the world total. Furthermore, facilities connectivity is one of the five major cooperation priorities of the Belt and Road Initiative uh, raised by the pri Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013. The other four priorities are poli policy coordination, unimpeded trade, financial integration, and people-to-people -people bonds. Now the initiative is well developed and full of vigor and vitality. President Xi Jinping also put forward five concepts of development, that is innovation, harmonization, green, openness, and sharing. The ideas are development should be scientific, sustainable, and inclusive. Now China becomes the second largest uh, energy consumer. The development and the utilization of new energy is attracting more and more concerns. Chinese government put forward favorable policies and measures to promote the development of new energy. Along with the economic development, a beautiful and a green China is being realizing. China and Nepal are very good neighbors, partners, and friends. All along, China government have actively promoted economic and technical development uh, to Nepal, such as the construction of roads, airports, uh, dry ports, hospitals, academies, schools, uh, historical relics renovations, hydro and uh, solar power projects, something like that, uh, carry out uh, th those key projects of road and belt and to enlarge cooperation on infrastructure and the new energy areas. Just about one year ago, one year ago, Nepal became the founding member of the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. We believe that those will improve the infrastructure condition and promote the development of new energy and will play a very important role in economy, livelihood, and environment areas, and also the living standards of the people of Nepal and also uh, South Asia as a whole. Today, Himalaya Consensus uh, Institution organized this summit to discuss and share ideas on renewable energy, environmental protection, sustainable development, and other related aspects. I believe that the summit will be very helpful and mean meaningful for corporations and development in the near future. With this, I would like to wish this summit a fruit result and a great success. Thank you.